Greetings. This is Tony Kuiper and this video is a step-by-step -step walkthrough of the method I used to make an adjustment to this image using the selective color adjustment and luminosity masks. This is an image where I wanted to increase the overall drama by darkening the sky and increasing the contrast a bit. The reason I wanted to use a selective color adjustment to do this was to avoid the saturation and color shifts that can sometimes occur with curves and levels adjustment layers. Okay, let's get started. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is make a composite luminosity mask. This will make a Lights 1 luminosity mask of this image, but more importantly, it saves the luminosity data for the image in the LumLock channel on the Channels panel. This will be important because later we'll make a variety of different luminosity masks to test which one works best for this image. I'll then make a selective color adjustment layer, open the properties panel, and choose blacks from the drop down menu. And I want to make the blacks, the dark colors in the image, even darker, so I'll pull the black slider to the right and I'll pull it all the way to the right. Now this is over adjusting this image, but I'm going to be adding some luminosity masks to the adjustment layer and as I do this it will filter out some of the over adjustment and look more normal. Okay, to do that I'm going to turn on layer mask mode in the Rapid Mask 2 module. Then when I click mask buttons it will use the luminosity locked into the loom lock channel to make a luminosity mask and it will automatically apply that mask to the adjustment layer. And so we can use the image itself to determine which luminosity mask works best. I'll start off with a darks one. Okay, that's an improvement. It still feels a little bit too dark. Darks two, that's better. Darks three, and that's probably a little bit too light. So a darks two of the darks mask might work, although the tops of the mountains seem a little bit dark here. We can try some midtones masks. Midtones one, that's too light. Midtones two, that looks pretty good. Midtones three, um, getting too dark again. There's also the pick option. You can click on that and choose a tone from the image. And the panel chose a zone three mask. We can try a zone four. Okay, that looks better. Zone 2, too light. Zone 5, not bad. Zone 4 looks a little bit better, and that was the mask that I liked best when I was actually working on this image. So that's the after, and this is the before. So I've accomplished my purpose of increasing the drama in the sky and by darkening it and adding a little contrast and the over adjustment that I created with the initial selective color adjustment has been filtered by the mask to look normal on the image. This is what it looks like without the mask and with the mask. Okay, I have one more image where I can demonstrate this technique in a slightly different manner. Like with the previous image, this one could benefit from a bit darker sky and a bit more contrast. I'll start by returning to the rapid mask mode and making a composite lights one luminosity mask of the image. I'll then make a selective color adjustment layer. And now on the properties panel, this is where the change is going to happen. I'm going to be adjusting the sky here, which is a lighter color in this image. So from the drop down menu, I will select whites. And again, I want to darken them. So I will pull the black slider all the way to the right to make a bit of an extreme adjustment for this image. But I can again turn on layer mask mode and experiment with different masks to see which one filters this effect best to the image. Start off with a lights one. Okay, that's an improvement. Lights two, that's a bit too light. I can check the midtones. That's midtones one and that's definitely too light. Midtones two better. Midtones 3. Okay, I like that um, best so far. 
I can check out the pick button to see what some zone mask would look like. The panel selected a zone 6 mask which is too light, zone 5, again too light, zone 7, and that's also too light. So I think the best mask for this image and this adjustment would be a mid-tones 3. Okay, so this is what the original image looked like and this is with the selective color adjustment masked with a mid-tones 3 luminosity mask. Without the mask you can see the full adjustment and you can see how the mask filters that adjustment just to the lighter tones of the image to give the effect I'm looking for. Now with the darkening of the sky in this image, the saturation has also increased, but it looks very natural. And this is typical of the selective color adjustments using the whites and blacks that tend to exhibit more realistic saturation changes compared to the curves and levels adjustments. Okay, I hope this technique of using the selective color adjustment with luminosity masks is useful to you and that you'll have the opportunity to try it in the future. Just let me know if you have any questions.